Hi, everyone. I'm here again with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thanks for having me. All right, we're going to talk about a, a topic that's kind of a, I guess I could say that it bugs both of us. Yes. And that's fat influencers and people being fat. And, you know, I was telling you before we turned this on that I had a really good comment on one of these videos because I hate... I hate it when people say calories in, calories out, because they're making it sound like there's one reason why people are fat, and it's because they're eating too much. Personally, I think that's a very rare reason. But I also don't want it to sound like I'm making excuses for fat people, because I'm not. It's their responsibility. They're fat, and I don't want them to give up. It's their responsibility to find out what's wrong. All I'm saying is it's probably not because they're eating too much and they're gluttons. Um, but it is their responsibility to um, find out what's wrong. So then they just get huge and sometimes, and then they become these fat influencers where now they're lying to people, where they say it's okay to be fat, Fat is beautiful. Um, I don't know what planet they're living on, but they're lying to themselves and they're lying to other people too. And then the other, it's like the emperor has no clothes. Oh, look at those beauty. Stop it. Right. The emperor is naked. <laughs> you know, just stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to people. Stop telling people you like being fat. You don't. If you had a choice, you would be the opposite of that. So I started off on a rant, so go ahead. <laughs> so I feel the same way. And I, I guess what I see a lot in my practice is I, you know, I see people who take responsibility and then I see people who don't take responsibility. And, you know, I get the comments like, well, I'm just going to have to starve if I'm on your program. And that is absolutely not the case. I, I provide menus, I provide food lists, I provide lots of different avenues to figure out why. We might just start with food, but then we go down all of the other paths. If you are doing things completely right and you are eating all the right things and timing wise they're good, and some, but you're still at the size you are and you're not losing weight, then there's something else going on. There's a hormone issue. There's a, you know, a, and there's lots of different hormones that can play into this. But you have to take responsibility. And where I get on my soapbox, and I don't like this, is that I see influencers out there that are like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful to be fat. And I feel so good. That's not true. And they're just trying, and again, it goes back to, selling you something that's not right. You shouldn't, those people aren't feeling good. Nobody feels good 100 pounds overweight, 50 pounds overweight. Even at 10 pounds overweight, some people don't feel good. They might be avid runners and they're not feeling good with 10 pounds on. Um, you have to take responsibility. I have lots of people who come into me and say that they can't afford testing and maybe they can't but they're not prioritizing in the right direction either. If you're going on three vacations a year and eating everything you want in those, and drinking everything you want in those time periods, and then you're coming back to me saying, you're doing all the right things, but I can't afford to test. That's not really fair. And that's not fair on my practice to say you're not getting the results are you being responsible on your end? Yeah, um, you just, you bring up so many interesting issues, you know, it, and they're, it, I don't know, it's um, people just, they're, they're lying to themselves when they say, hey, and, and they give up and they say, but, but what you're talking about on the testing and finding out what's wrong and saying, oh, well, that's just how it is. You need to move your health up as yes. a priority on your yes. list. When you move your health up as a priority, other things are gonna go down and take a second and third and fourth place 
on your list of priorities. So if yourself should be one of the higher priorities in your life, Absolutely. and that means your health, how you feel, it affects your relationships, it affects everything. And if someone says, I don't have the resources to do these tests to find out what's wrong, or check my hormones or vitamins and minerals or whatever um, the person that's working with them is asking them to test to try and figure something out and go through a process of elimination. I think your priorities are out of whack. I do too. And, and I spend a lot of time prioritizing my health first and my family's health first. If, some, if someone in my family comes to me and says, I, I don't feel good, and I mean, my daughter has had hormone issues for a long time. We, she had to reprioritize. She's in her early 20s. She had to reprioritize some of the things she wanted to do versus go get some testing. But that's exactly what she did at 20 years old. And we got to the bottom of what was going on. Her hormones were wildly out of whack at 20. That was only going to perpetuate and get to be a bigger problem going forward. And Part of my rant on this whole situation and topic is people who are influencers and they are a heavy person, trust me and I'm not fat shaming, but if they're a heavy person and they say they feel good, nobody feels good as a diabetic. I can promise you that. They are not feeling good as a diabetic when they have ups and downs and blood sugar issues and all of that kind of stuff. It doesn't work like that. And I know above all that it doesn't work like that. And you mentioned fat shaming, which I talk about all the time, absolutely disgusts me. Oh yeah. And I've never really said it this way, but one reason fat shaming disgusts me is because you don't know what it's like to be in that person's body. Yep. You've experienced, you know, fat doctors telling you to go run more. Yep. People, that's why don't fat shame people because you don't know what it's like to be in their body. You don't know what their struggles are. Nope. And you don't know um, what they feel like. Don't judge them. Now, again, I take the other side and say, it's not an excuse. If you're fat, it's not an excuse. Just because other people don't understand and they're not in your body, that's not an excuse for you to be unhealthy. Yes, it's going to be way harder for you than it is for some people, but figure it out. It's your health. Absolutely. And, the, you know, one of the last things I'll say here is I was 20 pounds overweight when I was going through my thyroid issue. And one of the things that I did and one of the things that just broke my heart was I, had, I was a personal trainer at the time and someone didn't buy a package from me because they point blank said to me, why would I buy from you? You're overweight. And that was devastating to me because they had no idea. But I was also going through the transition of, I had been to five different doctors and then I went back to school because I wasn't going to live like that anymore. Yeah, and that's great, you know, and it's like, but they're right. If you're not, if you, Nicole, are not going to figure this out for yourself, why would I listen to you? I agree. Why would I do anything you say if you're not going to figure it out for yourself, for you? Oh, but you're going to figure me out. Yes. I'm not hiring you. I agree. I agree. But there's two sides of that coin. And you can't just automatically take the, take the, you know, the judgment road. But you also, if that person would have asked me, they would have then known what was happening. I never once made an excuse during that time period. I always said, I'm trying to figure it out. And trust me when I say all of the things that, you know, that, you know, the Lululemons and the, and the expensive things went out the window because I went to immediately testing and I went to figuring out why, because that wasn't my norm. Yeah. And last thing I'll say is, Hey, if you think 20 pounds is not a lot, and all of a sudden you're 20 pounds heavier and you don't notice it because you gain one pound at a time every week, and you think 20 pounds is not a lot, um, that's when you need to start at 10 pounds. Yes. Start figuring it out then. 
once you see that, something went wrong. But if you don't think 20 pounds is a lot, <laughs> you may have done this. Go get one of those 20 pound vests. Yes. And put oh, it on absolutely. And, and walk around with it for five minutes. Yes. Five minutes. Go up and then five tell stairs. me. Yeah. And then tell me 20 pounds is no big deal. Uh, you'll exactly. change your mind. You'll, yes. you'll change your mind. <laughs> yep. So, Nicole, how do people get a hold of you if they want to find out more about what you do? Um, if you see it on this channel, you just need to email the gut girl one at Gmail and I can set up an appointment. We can review labs. We can do testing. We can do all sorts of different things and you will get a hundred dollars off the initial price. Yeah. Just mention that you saw this video and, uh, I will put that, um, in the description. So thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me.